Hey guys, I was gonna replace my butterfly trekking bars with these Jones H-bar loop bars, but I just realized that my stem is not a 31.8, so I can't do that today. However, I wanna make a quick short video overlaying the Jones bar on top of the butterfly bars, just to show you what that looks like. What I'm noticing here is I hold a lot on the outside of the bars here, and so, I will still be able to do that by holding the Jones bar here. But what it does do is also allow me to hold like way back here. So that's significantly closer to where I would be up here. So most of the time I'm holding on the sides. Occasionally I'm holding here. If I'm trying to go fast, I actually put my whole elbow down on the bar and lay down to get out of the wind and go faster. So I could still do that. I'll just be doing it across these two bars up here. I'm going to be able to grip here, maybe, instead of here. I'll see how that goes because it's, it will internally rotate my arms. It's probably not going to be super comfortable to grip right here on these sections. But this should be a, a very neutral position for the hands up here. And again, it gives me you know, a very, very wide area of where I can grip. Um, I'm probably gonna mount some accessories in the middle here, like a phone holder maybe. My computer could stay pointed this way on the stem, but we'll, we'll see about that, what I do with the Garmin. I don't know that they'll have necessarily the butterfly bars beat as far as the number of hand positions. So you have them all along here, that's true. You may be able to have them here. I doubt anyone grips up here and plus I have the bag that goes inside here, so I'm probably not gonna be able to really grip there, right? Because the bag's in here, so I can't grip there anyway. I can get my thumbs in by the bag, according to Jones. I haven't tried that yet. But supposedly the bag has cutouts for your thumbs here, so I could grip as far up as up here. Here's the bag that would sit in, in that hole, and here's the grips, right? So they would reach from the end of the bars here you would mount your levers up to but not touching the welds according to Jones. So unless I'm putting some kind of grip wrap or something around here, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hold here. That doesn't seem realistic because I don't have any, any grips there. All I have is shifter and brake mounts, this stuff. So I think this is not really a, a viable position but it does give me a similar position again on the side where I tend to hold the most out here. And it does allow me to grip back here and sit way upright if I choose to. I did really uh, know how I was gonna lay out as far as width of the bar up here. And it's, it's pretty impressive how much narrower it is, even though this is a 710 wide bar, but that's obviously at the ends, um, not up here, right? So you see it's massively narrower at my most common hold position. So we'll see how that works out for me. Hope this helps you guys. And uh, I'll report back once I mount all this stuff up. See you next time.